بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم صلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيب إله العالمين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيت الأطهار الذين أذهب الله عنهم الرجس وطهرهم تطهيرا Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I would like to first of all extend my sincere and humble congratulations to our beloved Imam, Imam Mahdi Ajrallah Ta'ala Farajo Sharif and to you viewers of Imam Hussein channel on these auspicious occasions the birth anniversary of our master Aba Abdullah Al Hussein Alayhi Salam and Aba Al Fadl Abbas Alayhi Salam and Imam Sajjad Alayhi Salam and Ali Al Akbar Alayhi Salam Insha'Allah you guys are having a blessed month within this month, the month of Sha'ban. And these nights and these occasions will be good opportunity for each and every one of us, for you and I to take decision and to change our life to a better life and to enhance our life. As we said, this month contains many occasions, many happy occasions. And it's the best time for us to ponder and to think our, to, to ourselves about the role models that exist in this world and we are celebrating their birth anniversaries within this month. The concept of a role model is a very important concept in our life. Intentionally or unintentionally, we are following someone in many aspects of our life such as the way we clothe, the way we talk, the way we communicate, the way we interact with one another. And our personality is based on the people that we follow and we take them as our role model. So we have to be very careful who do we take as a role model. Us as youth, if I can call myself youth, which I think I'm kind of getting old, but I as a youth, think that we have a very important task to, in front of us, which is finding a good role model and to follow a good role model. By having a good role model, our life will be enhanced. We will live a better life and we will know how to face the difficulties and how to solve our problems. The problem that we have within our life is that we have lost our role models. We don't know enough about the personalities that we should follow. And unfortunately, some of us has gone astray and they are following different personalities which are not right for role models. Within these months, as we said, we have the life of Imam Hussein السلام, in front of us. Life of Abu al-Fadl Abbas السلام, Imam Sajjad السلام, and Ali al-Akbar So we have to see how can we learn from their lives and implement their teachings, their methodology, their ideology into our life. The problems that we are facing, we don't know about them. We don't know about their daily lives. We don't know about their virtues. Unfortunately, for some Muslims, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, Abu al-Fadl Abbas alayhi salam, is only there for month of Muharram and Safar. And when it passes, Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abu al-Fadl Abbas alayhi salam, they become a historical individual that they lived 1400 years ago. And they don't have any importance within our life. This is the way some of the youth and some of the older people also look at Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam. But Ahl al-Bayt they have another role also amongst the many roles that they have. And that is to be a role model for our daily life. As I said, the way we communicate, the way we clothe, the way we sleep, the way we get married, the way we get into business. And in every aspect of our life, they have a teaching for us. So the important thing is, we have to read their life. We have to read their history. We have to know about them. What are their teachings? How they used to communicate with one another? 
wife to husband, husband to, uh, to wife, young to adult, adult to young, parents to kids, kids to parents, people with the community, community with the people, action plan. And inshallah, throughout these episodes, within my lectures, you will hear many action plans. Pay really close attention to these action plans. They are very important. Action plan number one, we need to dedicate 10 to 15 minutes minimum a day, if not more. I'm trying to go with bare minimum. Let's make it half an hour a day, reading the life of Ahlul Bayt السلام, reading Quran to see how we can implement them to our life. Many times we listen to lectures or we read the history of Ahlul Bayt السلام, but we don't read it with the mindset of learning something and implementing it. When we listen to lectures, some of my critiques about lectures that we listen, there's a lot of talk about history. It's very good, very much needed, we should study it, but there is another action that should be taken. How can I bring the teachings of Ahlul Bayt to today's day in 2014? How can I do it? Which is very important. That's why I try to give action plan. Action plan number one, as a reminder, from today, let's dedicate half an hour reading one verse of Quran, not one page, not, fifth, not one juz or one chapter, one verse. And think about it for a couple of minutes. How can I bring this to my life? How can I implement it? Same thing to the life of Ahlul Bayt salam. And mashallah, there are many books in Farsi, in Arabic, in English, in Urdu, in many languages that we can take, read, and implement them. They are the best role models. And if we don't follow them as a role models, it's our own fault. We will regret it one day. So let's not regret it. You as an audience, I don't know the age of you, the age that you have, 15, 20, 25, 35, 40, I don't know. But anytime we start, is the right time to start. We always say, I wish I would have done it before, but past is past. Future is not going to come until we take action. So from today, that's going to be the action we're going to take as a role models. If I am a young, unmarried individual, I have to find a good role model for myself. Ahlul Bayt they have laid a very good foundation for us. Let's take one of them or all of them and see, try to learn as much as possible from each one of them and implement them. If I'm married, I have to make sure I find a good role model for my kids. If I as a father, I as a mother, don't prepare a good role model for my kids, they will find a role model for themselves and that will be very dangerous. Because most of the times, they won't find a good role model. So I have a duty. My duty is not only to feed them and clothe them. No, I have to find good friends for them. I have to make sure I put them within a the right society, right community. With one story, I'm gonna to finish today's episode. I know a family back in state, they used to live in Virginia. They cared a lot about their three kids they moved from Virginia to Maryland so they can start sending their kids to Islamic school. They faced difficulties. They moved to Michigan to find Islamic school for their kids so their kids can grow within the right environment. They faced difficulties in there also. They moved to Texas. Within a couple of years, all of this moving from one state to another state. Talking about it is very easy. But most of you, if you have moved from one house to one house, you know how difficult it is. But moving from one state to another state, finding job, finding house, finding right environment, why? Because they cared about their kids. You and I, from tonight, action plan two. We have to see who do we have as a role model. Who do I follow? Is it a celebrities? Are there celebrities in front of me and I am implementing their life, their teachings, the way I clothe, the way I have my hairstyle, the way I wear shoes, the way I talk with my parents, or no. There are better people, there are the best creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which are Ahlul Bayt alayhum salam. 
So insha'Allah, within these couple of episodes, we will look at the life of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, Imam Sajjad alayhi salam, and Ali al Akbar alayhi salam, and to see what practical lessons, as much as possible, we can learn from their life that we can start implementing. As I said, I'm not going to talk only about history. I will try as much as possible to connect it to our life, inshallah. I will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the right path and also keep ours to make us steadfast on the path of Ahlul Bayt. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.